What is up, everyone, and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I am here today with episode 54, only a couple of episodes away until our first filler arc. I don't know why I'm so excited about it. Yeah, I've heard that the fillers are actually a lot better in Shippuden than they are in season one, because season one, you get up to episode like 135 or something, and then it's literally just like, boom, filler for the next like 100 episodes. That to me is like, I don't know, it's kind of insane actually that they done that. So I've heard that Shippuden is not nearly as bad as that, so I'ma be the judge of that I suppose, but yeah, I'm kinda looking forward to it. Why am I looking forward to it? Well, a lot of the fillers that I did watch from season one and in the middle of season one, like the end ones and the middle ones, they were funny, okay, they were so funny. like. If we can just remember episode 101, that face though, maybe one day I'll get to see what's underneath that mask of Kakashi's. One day. They were funny episodes, I thought they were hilarious. So anyway, we are here today with episode 54. And in the last episode, unfortunately, Sasuke managed to get away from us. Orochimaru got away, Kabuto got away, and now we are just left with the new dream team. So. I guess we're gonna go back to training and we're gonna go on some other secret mission. I think in this episode today we're gonna find out exactly what that mission is. So, let's go ahead and delve on in to episode 54. Hey birdie. You know it always creeps me out the way owls can turn their heads all the way around. Like... Why is that? I, I'm gonna research into that because I don't genuinely know why that is. It's kind of weird. What the hell? What? Who? That was Naruto. Look at his little moo cow. That's adorable. He always thinks that he's best friends with Sasuke. He should just look at that picture where they obviously hated each other in that picture. <laughs> that should be his reminder. What was that about? Crazy. Hello, new intro song. Does this mean that I can finally do a full reaction? to the last one. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section. I really like that song. Yes, that's a really good song. When addressing others, if you persist in maintaining formality, a reserved air develops and never allows the gap to be bridged. Have confidence. Just take the plunge and call out to people casually, or you could come up with a nickname or a term of endearment. By doing so, those you speak to will feel closer to you and begin to see you as more of a friend. It's interesting that because of his upbringing, he's having to relearn how to communicate with people. Make out Looking paradise. for an art book or something? Uh, Miss Sakura. Miss Sakura? <laughs> huh. Shiso Sai does have a human side after all. Naruto and I were on our way to visit Kakashi Sensei in the hospital. If you're free, you want to come? Kakashi Sensei? Well, I mean, you are a part of Team Kakashi now. Don't you think you should meet the leader? Yeah! Why are you sweating? I mean, I know he's hot and all, but jeez. That's still so shocking that he managed to do that. Why did I have that dream? Naruto! Huh? What? Uh, what's the deal? Why'd you bring Sai with you? Whoa, we're friends here. I spent all this time working it out so it would just be the two of us alone together, you know, like a date. If you've got time to daydream about that, you should be studying ninjutsu. I'm surprised you even had the guts to tell Sakura that. Duffy old library. Naruto, you can't just train your body all the time. Your mind needs to get some exercise too. Ugh, sometimes you're such a dummy. So harsh. Man, you really got me there. Na Naruto? Sa oh. Sakura? Hmm? Huh? Do you... do you mind if I join your conversation? Oh! 
The book said to call out to people casually or to use nicknames and terms of endearment. It said doing that would breed familiarity and might even lead to friendship. <laughs> Personality traits. <laughs> That's because he's trying to open up. It's lovely. I understand. Thanks for the advice. Ugly. <gasps> what? Ugly! Oh, you the line with that one. Huh? What? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Sakura. Why'd you hit me too? Poor Nanato, he had your back, Sakura. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Sakura, come here a second. Those two seem hurt. Did they fight or something? Knowing Naruto's temper, I can imagine what must have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. We're all getting along just dandy. Probably shouldn't punch your teammates. Kakashi-sensei, on our last mission, we... I know. Yamato told me everything. About Sasuke, too. We're running out of time to get him home. At this rate, we, we could lose him for good. Well, in that case, I guess you're gonna need to get even stronger than that. <laughs> Positive vibes, always. I spoke with Lady Tsunade. She thinks they might be using forbidden jutsu or even drug enhancement. After all, they do have Kabuto with them. No book in the world could explain the kind of person who performs experiments on human beings. Do you think I've just been lying here doing nothing the whole time? Yes. And reading your sexy books. In fact, if this training pans out, Naruto, your power may even surpass mine. <gasps> oh! Pop the water balloon! I'll be working with you one-on-one -on -one the whole time, and it'll be training like you've never experienced before. Yes! Um, what are we going to be working on? We're going to create an ultimate ninjutsu just for you. You know that he is more than capable of doing that. Enormous amount of time? Are you people listening to me? I just said we're almost out of time! Sasuke's gonna- If you'd let me finish, I've figured out a way to do it faster. How you feeling today, Kakashi? Asuma-sensei, you really should try knocking first. Choji! We love you! It's Naruto and Sakura. Guess your mission must be- Hmm? Uh. I know you. You're that guy from... No. <sighs> huh? What guy? From the start, when they first met. Hello there. Thank you for your report. Of course. I'll head out now. It sounds like the Akatsuki are really starting to make their move, milady. Which means it's only a matter of time before they venture closer to this area. Maybe even assault the Leaf Village. We've got no time left to lose. So we're going back after the Akatsuki and we're just going to leave Sasuke? And Naruto's going into training? Ah. Oh. That new guy's pretty cute, don't you think? He even kind of looks like Sasuke. I told you he looked like Sasuke! Yeah, he's definitely not good for the ladies. Lady Tsunade told me what happened with Sasuke. Next time something like that comes up, I'll be around to help. Especially now that I'm done with the tuning exams. Why can't we just promote him anyway after everything he has done? Why don't you guys head on over to the barbecue restaurant? And Team Kakashi, you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like to. Barbecue? Woohoo! I second that! <laughs> and I'll sit next to Sai. Oh my goodness, Eno! The barbecue's on me, okay? Hey, wait a sec! Sensei, what gives? What happened to that whole conversation we were just having about my special training? Oh, that's right. Hmm. We'll get back to it later. <laughs> Don't be so impatient, Naruto. But he is always impatient, Kakashi. Duh. It's literally his middle name. He said he had to go home and help his father find antlers to use on some kind of medicine. Huh? That's weird. That is weird. He always showed up to celebrate successful missions with us before. This is a first. We should be polite and introduce ourselves to Sai before we eat. He's like dribbling! Word is, things are really starting to heat up outside the village. I figured. 
As long as their objectives are the tailed beasts, we can be certain they'll come here sooner or later. They want Naruto. <gasps> you guys don't need to leave me out of this. I'm just as concerned about the Akatsuki as you are. <laughs> Eno! Well then, oh my goodness! First impressions are very important to people. So I've got to come up with some casual nicknames as fast as I can. Not ugly! Or fat so. Your name is Sai, isn't it? That's right. You, uh, personality trait, personality trait. <laughs> oh no! He's not gonna say that forbidden word, is he? <laughs> Absolutely a taboo word in front of Choji. You got it. Sai, <laughs> <laughs> jeez. Coming up with nicknames is tough. <laughs> anyway, I'm Ino Yamanaka. My family owns the Yamanaka Flower Shop. Nice to meet you. <laughs> when it comes to women, stating their personality traits too bluntly might anger them. So perhaps I can avoid that if I just say the opposite of what I think. Oh god. Oh god. I'm nervous! A pleasure. You, uh... You, um... Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god! Sagra's gonna be raging! You call her beautiful? Poor Sai. He's learning. But not quite fast enough. You never comment on how a woman looks unless it is positive. It's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Who is this? understand that's really odd okay are they filler enemies or are they part of the Akatsuki I don't think they're part of the Akatsuki so who the heck are they that was a nice episode actually I would class that as a bit of a filler episode but kind of like has little really important bits of information that we need to know for some of the future episodes so that was good Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!